Hi everyone. What an amazing, amazing day. So here I am sitting in my, on my purple slide, being a child, which is really cool. And I, I just wanted to share with you this amazing feeling of change. Something significantly shifted last night, my time, European time let's say 6, 7 p.m., there was sort of this uplifting energy, if that makes sense. This calmness, this serenity, this divinity. And I woke up this morning feeling like a little boy, ready to jump at every opportunity, at every chance, at every occasion, to just enjoy the moment. And this is where we're at, really, to enjoy the moment. I'm going to enjoy this park very shortly. I've just had a nice walk along the River Danube. I was going to make a video at the other end of the Danube, but too much too much uh, construction work going on. Didn't want to be distracted by the energy, so I thought I'd come back here to this park that I've already walked past once today. The energies are lifting us to a new place, a new place of complete contentness with ourselves, knowing all that we've achieved, all that we've gone through, and all that we've experienced over the last two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Everything has been for a reason. Everything has been for a purpose to prepare us for what can only be de described as the next step in our ascension process, the next step in our moving forward and, and, and transforming what we need to transform. And I don't believe that there's much more transformation within our lives. The healing, I believe, is over. We've transmuted a lot of past life stuff. We've transmuted a lot of current life stuff. And we've gone to the depths of our inner core. And we've ripped off the onion peel and we've gone deeper and deeper and deeper. And... The last week has been a very interesting week with regard to energy and what's what I've been feeling and what I know others have been feeling. But this serenity just came over last night and it's something that I've experienced before, maybe a year ago. Maybe it's something to do with the planets. I've no idea, but I'm just running with it. And I'm at a place where I know what I have to do next is all for me. And... This may sound selfish, but it's not. We're here to live our lives. We've served others, and that does include our children, and that does include our parents, our grandparents, the system. And we can see that we are here purely to live for ourselves, to be the love that we are, to enable us to grow in that love and then progress onto our missions, whatever those missions may be. And I don't believe that anybody knows what their mission is. Our, we are being guided to do and utilize the skills that we have to benefit others as well as provide us with the income that we need to sustain ourselves. We're loving, we're caring, we're sharing this love, this energy that we have. And it's very obvious around us that we are touching other people's lives. We are helping them see that there are different ways of living. There's a different perspective that we can look at. And I, I love to call this the helicopter perspective. And I suppose that's the, that's the view from 4D or 5D. I've, I've no idea. I don't like to, to, to label things because everyone has a different experience and everyone has a different perspective or opinion of what it is. And I believe these new energies are here just to support us, to allow us to know. You know, for the last two years I've not doubted, questioned everything that's happening. Why am I doing this? What am I doing? And now I'm just doing it. <clears throat> and that's a progression. That's an expansion of consciousness. That's, a, that's, a, that's the evolution of man. That's the, the evolution of me. And I know that many of you who watch my videos are experiencing the same. You're moving forward. You're beginning to leave all of this past behind you and allowing access to it to remember it because this is who we are. We're made up of everything that we've ever done 
We're made up of everything that we will ever do. And it's funny, last night I was, I was walking to my local corner shop on a Sunday to buy something that I needed. And I was talking to the universe, as I do, out loud, walking along the street, and the, and the locals must think I'm some sort of Fruit Loop. But it's always good to be a Fruit Loop because you're different. And I just said to the universe, you know, I understand man's need or desire to know the future. Man's wish to know that everything is going to be okay. I certainly believe that everything is okay. I believe that everything will be okay. And I said, you know, in my humor, I said, okay, maybe you can please send me the sign about where I'm at, where am I going, to make sure that I'm in check and going forward. And within an hour I got home and I looked at something and bang, there was the message, the confirmation. Previously, previous week, I asked the same question and got the different answer. So our, our, the process that we're going through is how are we dealing with everything that we come across? How are we dealing with everything uh, that could impact us negatively or trigger our ego? And these are all, I, know I don't like the word tests and I use that word quite often. Challenges, tests, whatever we want to call them, they are actually living experiences. These are things that we decide how we're going to process them to achieve a positive outcome that serves us. And if that means we're intimidated or threatened in any way, shape or form by a third party, we will make a decision. Are we going to react to that person or situation with our ego or are we just going to move forward doing what serves us best? And whether that means cutting them off, disconnecting or, or changing your connection, it doesn't really matter. It's important that we do what's good for us, what's in our best interests, in our best interest. And this is something that, that really is coming into play now. And I see it more and more and more. Things are just happening. This last week, things have happened like I can hardly explain. Something new. Something new every day. This morning, even something new. You know, I get a call at nine o'clock. Dean, can you come and teach today? Well, of course I can. I'm doing nothing else. I didn't have any plans except to work on my projects. I have the freedom to be able to do that. We all have the freedom to be able to do that once we step out of this 3d matrix and i know it's very difficult for a lot of people that are stuck in the rat race that are stuck in the matrix that are stuck in careers that are stuck in situations that they don't believe there's any solution to get out of some of you know my story <coughs> my situation from two years two and a half years ago <coughs> excuse me and at that time i didn't see any way out except within me. So what did I do? I went within me and confronted everything that needed to be confronted. And the last two years has been a living experience. It's been a, there have been many, many challenges and there have been many, many experiences that I've had to deal with in one of two ways, from the heart or from the ego. And as we've evolved or expanded our consciousness, we, we, we can understand the difference. We're no longer really listening to our brain. We've stopped really thinking, except when something triggers us. And when we do get triggered, we treat it, we process it, we allow it to happen, we acknowledge it, and we let it go. And that's, what this has been, that's what's been going on this last week. And those that have had deeper pains to go through, have gone through them, or are going through them. But there is light, and there is beautiful serenity waiting for you if we let go of this attachment to everything that is and just enjoy everything that is and that may seem something very, very strange but it's not when we stop thinking we're actually doing and we're breathing and we're living and we're enjoying we're experiencing i'm experiencing this wonderful place despite what it looks like i'm enjoying sitting here in the sun talking to you guys it brings satisfaction, it brings a peace, and it brings knowledge and wisdom that I know that I'm sharing this experience with however many people watch it. 
And this is love. We're sharing love unconditionally. And this is what it's all about. And what's it all about, Alfie? <laughs> so the energies are supporting us. We're going forward. We're moving forward. And we have lost or given up this attachment to any potential outcome. What will be, will be. Ke sarah sarah. And this is all we can, this is all we did as children. What will be, will be. And we have no control over where we're going or what we're doing. The universe will always bring us back into check. And as long as we're moving forward on the right path or the light path or the path of love, everything's going to be fine. We are going to be supported, not only by our spirit guides, not only by the universe, but by those people around us. Look in the morning, look every morning in the mirror and give yourself love. Look at yourself and say, I am the most beautiful God or Goddess. I deserve and I'm worthy of love because I am love. And look at yourself and be accepting who you are. Because that's who you are. No matter your race, your beliefs, your thought processes, anything. You are that that you see. And that's all you will ever be. Other people will add another dimension to your life, whether that's through a partner, through a, a, a twin soul connection or a soulmate connection or just a connection between soul brother and soul sister. They will add something, some energy, some additional love into your life. But nothing can ever s supersede your love. And many people that have gone in relationships, and I am also one that's, that has done this, we tend to give everything and do everything for everyone else, but we neglect ourselves. And that's why I said in the beginning that this is not selfish. When we look at some of the relationships we've had in our lives, we've done everything for someone else and had nothing in return. The balance is out of play. So one of the things we have to start to do is give to ourselves, to believe in ourselves, to have all of the confidence in ourselves, because we are our own God. We are a God or Goddess. We have enough energy and we have enough love to give to everyone and anyone and anything to get us to where we're going. And wherever that path goes, just go with it. Just go with the flow. And I know many, you know, people who want to plan their days, plan their lives, that's all good. But it's no good. Anything can happen at any given time and we have to be able to deal with it in a way that we respond to it or we react to it. And I believe all of these lessons this life experiences that we have have taken us to a place or brought us to a place where we know where our ego is, we know that we are love and we're just moving forward in faith in who we are, not in an external being or body or anything. We are believing in who we are and that's all we can do and we build our own self-confidence, we build our own faith, we build our own trust and we learn to trust our instincts, we learn to trust our intuition, because this is what has been damaged over the years of, of our evolution or of our expansion. All of these things have been damaged and now we're he we've healed all of that. Now we're beginning to come in tune again with all of the elements and the dimensions in which we, we are in touch with. And things are only going to get better. Things can only get better. There's a song about that too. Things can only get better. Now I found you. Yeah, that one. And <laughs> it's an amazing place. Living in the moment is not scary. It's not frightening. There's no fear here. There is just love. Because that's who we are. And breaking these attachments are crucial to all of our soul expansion and evolution and progression because the more we hang on to what was stops us from enjoying what is 
And the more we try to figure out what's going to happen, the less we can enjoy what is and what was. So there is only now. There is only now this living moment to enjoy. No matter what you're doing, no matter where you're going, no matter the situation you're in, take it for what it is. Respond to the situation, enjoy the situation and enjoy the moment. And be the love that you are. I keep talking about love. It's amazing. Because it is amazing. I've never been in a, in a situation like this free. Free of worries, stresses, burdens, nothing. I've just got to deal with me. And I'm dealing with me okay. So, enjoy it. Appreciate it. And appreciate who you are. Because you are an amazing, wonderful being on an incredible soul journey back to one. Love you lots. That's all for here and now. Take care until the next time. Love you. Bye-bye.